Day two, Ontario, Canada, 2014. Uh, we found ourselves back in a familiar place. We had actually hunted this clover field the year before. It's a small clover field with just some standing water in it. And what we learned last year is that geese don't necessarily go there right off the water. Uh, they go out and feed for a little while, and then on their way back, they stop through there to kind of hang out a little bit. There's only about three or four inches in a, a really shallow pond. It's just basically a little bit of a flooded clover field. Uh, and th it was the same thing this year. The geese headed out. We saw a lot of birds going out and then slowly they started to trickle back in, which is ideal. You have these smaller groups coming in there and it's such a uh, enclosed field that they're actually right in your face. So all of our shots were up close and personal and again, got some really good footage. Uh, started messing with the, um, the white balance on the camera, which is again, one of the things we were learning about. So you'll see the color changes in the lens. Um, and what we did is we ran it on auto white balance. And as we're learning a little bit going forward, you should always set the white balance every time you go out and hunt. Uh, it's gonna change and, and give you better lighting as far as the recording footage is concerned. So anyways, check it out. The, the goose footage is awesome. Again, uh, the shooting is good again, and uh, we had an awesome time. So here it is. <laughs> Boy. All right, hold on, hold on, get ready. <laughs> Cut a boy. Watch that one. Hit him again, Dick, if you can. Pop okay. him in the head. He's he's too alive. There's a pair right here. Right, coming right into us. Right, coming right into us. Huh? Right in front. 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 Where? Right in front. Right in front. Right in front. Like they're landing oh. right now. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Okay, just like that. See how easy that was? Y'all, we're all worried and shit. <laughs> we're all worried. You go, shot. <laughs> we got more. A lot more birds coming from the right side here. Just get him in here when he comes back. Horse, come on. Kill him, boys. Hey, banded one. Nice. Here, here, back. Really? Back. 
So one of the big questions that we always get asked is how many banded geese that we take when we're up in Canada. And I'll tell you that that's a really a, uh, a very subjective thing. And when you're hunting an area that has a lot of migratory geese, uh, like we are in southeastern Ontario, the chances of killing a banded bird are not as good as if you were hunting an area that had a lot of resident geese where they're banding a larger percentage of the, or the number of birds in, in the area. So we are very fortunate on uh, Group 1's Day 2 Who's hunt that on that day? Day Cloverfield. Lo and behold, don't we end up killing a banded Canada? And turns out, in fact, that this was uh, banded from way up north. It was a migratory bird uh, banded up in northern Quebec. So uh, that's kind of like hitting the lottery. I mean, I, we've killed a lot of birds that, that have bands, but you, it's not as easy as you think. And so when you do that, you really want to cherish it and, uh, and call the number in. So we were fortunate that during the entire nine days, we killed two banded geese, one Canada and one snow. So it was pretty exciting stuff overall. You can always tell when a goose is alive, even when he's playing dead. Mm -hmm. Look at his feet. Yeah. Well, well. This one's too close. <laughs> I see him. <laughs> this is Chris only, so. <laughs> 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 well, you're ready, buddy. Oh, Mayday! I'm going down! <laughs> that fucking monkey! No. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Day two of the Ontario Customer Appreciation Goose Hunt. Uh, hunted the clover field this morning. Similar results, limited out. Uh, we were done right around nine o'clock. And uh, got a bonus mallard and a piece of jewelry. So somebody's wife is gonna be very happy. And uh, every girl should have one of these, by the way. So much better shooting today. It's a sweet little setup and uh, hunting a clover field with a low spot of water. and. Looking forward to finishing things off tomorrow real strong. So, so far two days, two limits, and much better shooting today. Looking forward to tomorrow. Appreciate little football this afternoon, Sunday right. afternoon. Appreciate everything. Yeah. Use a whole boarders. box of shells. <laughs> One box. So now it's time to get to some bird cleaning and then some beer drinking. So, talk to you all later. So there you have it. There's day two, uh, another successful day and another good limit. So stick with us. Next episode is day three.